Pope Benedict XVI, Christ has renamed Pope Petrus Romanus, Peter II. His first job as new Pope is to clean out all the filth from the Roman Catholic Church and introduce Vatican III. On April 3rd, 2013, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI was arrested along with Father Giuseppe Cervello and biographer Sister Maria de la Rosa when investigators for Pope Francis burst into the office of Benedict. Why? On the 23rd of March, Benedict met Francis in a secret meeting. He told Francis, Christ is back, and his office had been talking to him from Australia. Benedict was unable to convince Francis, who disregarded the information. Pope Emeritus, Benedict XVI, while still in office, had made arrangements to show the Holy Shroud of Turin. He had a video made to be aired with the television program announcing the return of Christ, but Francis stopped the broadcast. We must all meet outside the Castel Gandolfo each weekend and hold a vigilance until Pope Emeritus Benedict meets with us and tells us what the truth is. You can go to the YouTube Sword of Truth 888. There it is in Italian. Pope's exorcist confesses devil lives in the Vatican. It's been obvious for a very long time. And here it is. Francis says no to the Christ. Under the Vatican are rooms carved out of bedrock. The bricks separating rooms, it is supposed to be where Peter is entombed, but this is not so. There are pottery and statues and all forms of demonic worship. In one room has Lucifer painted on the wall. The depiction of Lucifer, that is, light bearer, the morning star, and on the opposite wall there is a drawing of Vesper, the evening star, and cosmic symbols of the human life cycle. Francis does indeed kill people. The same hell here on earth, Francis leading the way. Francis is Lucifer, is the beast. Benedict, renamed Peter, is the saint.